All right, I've got my blanks drilled out with the size O drill bit. There's one. This is Coca Bola or Bacote. I'm not sure. I think it's Bacote with the darker color. And then I had a piece that I had tried making another item out of and didn't turn out so good. Um, tried putting some Alumilite in the cracks. So I think it'll be fine for doing this though. So we're going to get sanded, sanding, get sanded, get started sanding the tubes so that they can be glued into the blanks. And I need my glue and I need my tubes. And normally I have all this stuff laid out in the order I'm going to do it when I'm doing production on my pin kits, but seeing as how I want to be done by 5 o'clock central time here today, I'm just going to get these tube sanded and glued into the blanks and possibly turn one of them. I'd really like to get one of these kits put together and see how it looks. So you take your tube out of the kit. These are the same size on the top and the bottom, so it doesn't really matter which one switch to start putting pieces in. Then you might have to keep them straight. But all I'm doing now is giving the tube a little bit of tooth so that the glue will hold between the wood and the brass or copper tube itself. It doesn't have to be real fancy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just giving it a little bit of a rough texture. I do a little bit, twist the tube, do a little bit more, twist the tube, and I just grabbed whatever piece of sandpaper was available over in my scrap bin just now, and this is 320. I usually prefer to go with a 120 paper, but I didn't feel like digging through my sawdust drawer and or sanding drawer and finding the right thing. So this will work for now. There's five and number six. Pen turning. The thing that's nice about pin turning is it's instant gratification. You buy your kits, you come with instructions. You need a barrel trimmer and you need a, uh, well, you don't have to have a barrel trimmer. There's several different methods for trimming the ends of your wooden blanks, getting these where they're the same length as the tube. Um, I won't go into detail on that. There's so many guys that show you different ways on YouTube, but um, you can stick a rod into a um, collet on your chuck, on your lathe, and have a piece of sandpaper squared up on your tailstock and trim them that way. Um, or you can buy the different types of Trimmers, um, I have a trimming set made by White, and it does a really good job. It's white side, pin mill reamers, perfect. Does what I want it to do. All right.
There we go. And I'm just using Barrel Bond two-part five-minute epoxy for putting my All right, I need to mix that up. I have a popsicle stick set out here from somewhere. And just take that and mix together your A and B epoxy. 